Hey guys, welcome back to the Food Monologue Studios. Today we will check out a winter special snack, the matar gujia or matar karanji. Start with boiling 3 cups of water. When the water starts boiling vigorously, add 2 cups of green peas to the water. Allow to boil for 2 minutes. Then drain them immediately. Put them in an ice bath. That is, immerse them in ice cold water. This will stop the cooking process, and we will get paraboiled peas, which are cooked but still firm. Add one cup of these paraboiled peas in a mixer jar. Add one inch of sliced ginger, one tablespoon of coriander seeds, two to six green chilies chopped. Add one teaspoon of sugar and salt as per taste. Now grind all of this into a coarse paste. Heat a pan and add one tablespoon of oil in it. Now add one teaspoon of cumin seeds. When they start spluttering, add one large onion finely chopped and saute till it is softened. Add two tablespoons of cashews and saute till golden brown. Spoon of sesame seeds. Season a little salt and add a little water so that the onions remain soft and juicy. Now add one cup of parboiled peas and a crushed mixture. Saute. Add turmeric powder, chili powder. Add one tablespoon of dhania jeera masala or garam masala, and some dry mango powder or amchur. You can add more salt and sugar if you require. Add one cup of freshly grated coconut. Add one cup of finely chopped coriander leaves and sauté the mixture. Now keep it in another vessel and allow to cool. In a mixing bowl, add one and a half cup of maida or flour. Add half cup of rava or semolina. Make a well in the center and add two tablespoons of ghee as moan. Add some salt. Add water little by little and start gathering the dough. When the dough comes together, add one teaspoon of oil and knead it further. Now coat this with ghee. And cover with a moist cheese cloth and allow to rest for half an hour. Now make 20 dough balls, one inch in diameter each. Dust the rolling platform and start rolling a dough ball till it becomes three inch in diameter, like a puri. Now place the filling in the center and to seal the edges, apply a thin film of water and join the opposite edges and press the seal. Remove any extra dough and check if it is properly sealed. Else, it might open while frying. Somewhat like this. Now fry in medium hot oil and allow both sides to brown properly for it to turn crispy. Now enjoy this snack of mutter chutney with any tangy chutney of your choice, like date tamarind chutney or even tomato ketchup. Let us take a recap. The ingredients for mutter chutney are displayed here. A link to a complete list of written, downloadable, and printable instructions is mentioned in the description below. Do check that out. If you like this recipe, do share it with friends and family. and give the video a like do not forget to like share and subscribe to the food monologues channel thank you for watching bye bye